Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and I just upgraded from 3.2.3 to 3.3. And uh, this is what follows. So before we actually see the site, I need to continue with the following. Notice there are a lot of uh, things here that uh, are saying that they're not supported, but I'm going to ignore all that because you don't really need them for now. But you should get them checked off as well. So let's continue. Next I'm taken to the plugins check. So if I go through it I'll um, need to scroll right down. Notice I've got some things missing here that I need like WizIQ so I'll have to add that later on and um, let's go through it and see if there's anything else I'll need to add which was removed from 3.3 .3. okay so i'm scrolling down to see what's going to be upgraded in the upgrade and notice that uh, there's some themes missing my theme is uh, essential so i'm going to have to add that so that my site appears at it had on 3.2.3 so i'm going to click on upgrade moodle database now and everything except for the additional missing from disk will be upgraded. So I'm going to wait for that. It'll take a few seconds. Next, I'll see the following upgrading to new version system, but there's much more to follow. So stay tuned and be patient. Next, you'll see everything being upgraded and you can go through it. There is a lot. So remember, until you get the save at the very bottom, you're going to have to go through all of these. After a few minutes, I finally see continue. So click on the continue and wait a few more seconds until you're taken to the login page. So let's wait for that. And here we are. Now this doesn't look like our site at all. Remember, I have to add the theme. So let me go in with my username, okay, as the admin. I'll remember it. I remember anyways and then we'll continue notice others have to go through Moodle for teachers to log in okay so uh, this is what's next I'm just going to go through it notice the uh, the new settings for uh, using uh, different services to log in it's now part of 3.3 so that's really exciting then I'm gonna click on save changes wait a few seconds this whole thing could take up to 20 minutes, depending on your connection. So be ready for it. And don't panic when you see that it's slower than uh, normally. Right, so we're ready. Now I'm going to go into site administration because I want to add the theme so that my site looks like what it should. Next, I'm going to go into plugins right here and install plugins. My favorite theme is Essential, so I'm going to uh, go into Install Plugins from Moodle Plugins, write the word theme, search, and then look for Essential. I can actually go into Essential, it's a lot faster. Just write Essential and I'll get it even faster. So there is Essential. Going to notice it's 3.2, I want 3.3, .3, so make sure that you've got that click on install now because my site was uh, let's see moodle for teaching.org was 3.2 i'm going to change it to 3.3 .3 because i've upgraded then i'm going to go back here and install the uh, essential for 3.3 .3. so now i'm going down to moodle for teaching Dot org click on install now this is done through uh, Moodle and then uh, notice here I'm going to click on continue and because I had the theme before everything's going to go back to what it was notice it's still in its maturity state I'm not going to worry about that for now but you should be aware of it and decide whether you want to really upgrade or not. Notice what else? I'm going to add the theme here. Notice I also need to add what's missing from disk and that's WizIQ and all of these if I wish to continue with them as well as some of these other 
themes. What I'm really interested in is one topic, which is a format for courses that I really like. So I'm going to add that, even though it doesn't have a 3.3 upgrade yet. But I've tried it before on a demo site and everything seemed to work just fine. So next I'm going to um, go on to save and then you'll see what my site now looks like. It looks like the original, which is a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to wait a few seconds. And there it is. I'm back to normal. Okay, if I go into uh, the main site, everything is back to what it was, except for a few plugins that I need to install because they're missing from the disk. So let me do that. Now I'm going to go back. Uh, there is this. I just wanted to show it to you. That's what the site looks like. And that's what it looked like before. So let me uh, just go back to uh, the administration here. Here we are in administration. And I'm going to go into plugins. Now, this time I'm going to play around with the system. You can also um, download the various plugins in the, on your computer system and then just um, as zip packages and just uh, install them. But I'm going to go into the Moodle and what I'm looking for is one topic, which I really like, as I said. And there's my one topic format. Now notice it doesn't have a 3.3, but it does have... So I can either download it into my computer system and then install it through there, or I can install it, and this is a little tricky here, by going into my... Um, Moodle for teaching right here and then changing it just for now just to make things easy uh, to uh, to that system so now I've kind of fooled the system I'm on 3.2 I'm going to install it even though I'm on 3.3 but I can do it like this uh, where is Moodle for teaching dot org there it is make sure you're doing it on the right side if you've got a few it says that it's already in which is great so I've logged out of the site and I'd like to invite you to join us. All you need to do is go into login right there at the top right, click on it and come in through Moodle for teachers right there. It's that easy. And then you can take the courses that we offer for managers of a Moodle site and notice I'm in. So it's that easy. The first course that you'll join, notice uh, I'm in, is uh, Managers of a Moodle site, but if you go into Courses, you'll be able to find it under there. You just go into Moodle MOOC 10, Managers of a Moodle site, click on it, and you should be in. Not as admin as I am, but you should be in as a student. So looking forward to seeing you on Moodle for teaching for managers of a Moodle site. Thank you.